plastic a known evil has now become an inseparable part of our existence from toothbrushes to take out containers plastic is everywhere and we all know that plastic is harmful to our body as well as the environment however not many know about the presence of micro and nano plastics these micro plastics are already known to penetrate into the body and cause millions of premature deaths each year furthermore the substances that make up plastics are known to affect your body on a cellular level leading to health concerns when consumed plastics contain chemical bisphenol a a common plastic compound yet a hazardous chemical that is responsible for major health issues such as infertility and cancer amongst others in the past few years handicrafts have witnessed an exponential decline and the communities holding these art forms at their hands have been ignored to revive a dying art form and raise awareness about the intricacies of handmade art forms and to overcome these problems we launched project ektara Microplastics and plastic waste generation that ends up in landfills and oceans, while empowering multiple communities by providing them a stable source of income for them. Project Ekpira functions under two verticals: teabag vertical and handi vertical. After knowing the long-term consequences of microplastics found in commonly used teabags, we decided to take action. We found a viable alternative to this, which is teabags made of mustard. To start off with its production, we collaborated with the women community of YWCK, which is located in Sridhampuri, to provide them with a reliable source of living. Raw materials like tea leaves and muslin cloth are provided to our community by us. We stitch the tea bags made up of muslin cloth and finally pack them into boxes. We have conducted multiple surveys with both consumers and retailers and started with two flavors. lavender and lemongrass they help boost immunity soothe cramps relieve stress are rich in antioxidants and cure headaches our product has been certified by fssai we plan to establish our b2b and b2c supply chains by collaborating with eco retail outlets general stores and listing our products on eco retail websites respectively Coming to our second segment, Handi. With the help of our Pontus community, we partner with restaurants and cafes and provide them with customized handmade handis that not only minimize the use of plastic food packaging, but also give restaurants a chance to set them apart by serving their food in traditional North Indian style. It helps in retaining nutrients and flavor. The alkaline nature of clay helps balance out pH levels, making the food much tastier and healthier. The process of cooking in clay pots adds nutrients to the food which is quite healthy for the body and their heat resistance feature helps retain the natural oils of food. With these verticals we aim to minimize the use of single use plastic and restrain the exposure of microplastic emissions to the human body which would have taken thousands of years to decompose. Along with that when plastic is heated or something hot is poured into it it can leak chemicals 55 times faster than usual even food grade and microwave safe plastics are not completely immune from this problem with handi we project on controlling 40000 plus microplastic emissions per annum for a single family a zero waste tea bag also helps the cause by reducing micro and nano plastic emissions by 43 billion per box Not forgetting the social impact, our beneficiaries include the porters and the members of the YWC organization who are involved in the tea bag making process. An average porter makes up to only 4000 to 5000 rupees in a month, which is not enough to sustain a family of 8 people. But with Ektira, we have created an additional revenue source for these porters, thus increasing their monthly income by 70%. This torments communities beyond the borders of India, and the future is in jeopardy. Our project can only do so much. The question we all need to ask ourselves is, who will look after these?